I'm gonna tell you guys about my morning now, okay? Because it was quite eventful, honestly. A lot more eventful than I would have liked it to be. So I stayed up pretty dang late last night doing a couple things, uh, and so I ended up really needing to sleep in this morning. However, fate would have other plans because while I was laying in bed, I, like, at the at the crack of dawn, like 5.30 or, or 6 or something around about there, I was awoken by a terrible, terrible shrieking. I have no idea what it was at first. I, my first concern was, oh my gosh, is it my dogs? Are they okay? Is everything fine? And I realized after listening to it for, for just a couple of moments, and I was like, okay, that can't be my dogs because they, they couldn't ever sound like that also. Let's re-roll. Well, you know, I probably should have taken the HP upgrade, huh? Anyway, so this shrieking. I wake up and I hear it and I am confused, concerned, scared for my life. I'm literally shaking, sobbing, and shitting, and farting, and crying at all at the same time. But I can hear that it's outside. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I was able to remove my dogs from the equation because there's no way my dogs could get outside unless they somehow managed to unlock the fence or some other ne'er-do-well unlock the fence. Also, dude, I'm asleep at the wheel right now trying to regale this tail without taking too much damage. Okay, I take a look out my window, the closest window to the area, and at first I don't see anything through the blinds. And so I, I move the curtains aside and I peek a little bit higher, see if I can't maybe see just a little bit more of something. And then I see it. There's a freaking hawk or, or like a falcon or some kind of bird of prey that is killing and eating another bird. I say eating, but it actually wasn't eating. It just killed the bird, and then it just, like, dragged it somewhere and left it there with without even eating it. And then this morning, as I went to walk the dogs, actually, when I, when I went to finish the dogs, I went to go check out what exactly had happened there, and I found not one, but two dead birds. So a falcon or a hawk or something just had killed these birds for what seems like no reason. Didn't even eat them or anything. Just left two carcasses right on my lawn. And so, of course, I picked them up and, uh, and disposed of them as best I could. Probably to feed their babies. Yeah, but they weren't even eaten. They, they were fully intact, at least from what I could tell. It didn't seem like they, they had anything on them at all. But anyway, that was terrifying to me in the morning. But I went back to sleep, and then around about like 7 or 7.30, I hear something. And I am mighty confused by this hearing, because it is the sound of Lil Man, my dog, uh, one of my dogs, the, the little guy. I hear him howling, but it's like a distant howl, and it came out of nowhere. And it's very loud, and so I'm thinking, oh my god, he is on, he's in the backyard on the opposite side of the wall, howling. Holy water is bad. <laughs> well, I should have taken it, huh? Anyway, I hear him howling, and the worst comes to mind. I'm thinking, oh my god, the hawks attacked my dog. I sprint up out of bed, and I start running to the backyard, calling out the name of my dog. And of course, I don't hear the howling anymore, but I'm, I'm still extremely concerned. And so when I get outside, Nobody is there. No dogs or nothing. Um, and I'm very confused, and so I turn around to go back inside after getting all kinds of prickly thorns inside of my metatarsals, and I find out my dog, the dog I was worried about, is literally right there behind me. He's looking at me like, what the f*** are you calling my name for? And I realize he was under my bed, howling for no reason, probably like in a dream or something. And then I, he must have like either woken himself up or I woke him up with my, uh, you know, screaming and, oh, you freaking spit him directly into my forehead, bro. Flies do not get applied directly to the forehead, at least not in my country. All right, but yeah, that was uh, an eventful morning. It had my heart pumping, uh, or my lack of heart, my fart pumping like crazy because I was super scared for me Pupor. Wanted to make sure that everything was okay. And of course everything was, but God, it was so scary for a second to think like the worst had come to pass. Cause I've thought about it before. We have, uh, we've had a whole, whole bunch of Hawks. Um, actually like a whole freaking dynasty of them um, living in trees uh, close to our yard. And so the dogs, actually, when they first started living there, they would bark at them. Oh, dude, we're taking so much damage. I cannot afford to be taking so much. Are you kidding me, dude? I'm... 
pay out the doubters. Why does the screen look so? This is the Flash Isaac. That's why it looks so retro, which it's funny you say that because in all honesty, the uh, Rebirth, I feel like has a lot more retro aesthetic given the um, uh, all of the pixelation and style changes there. Whereas this one, it certainly does adopt a lot of, you know, the literally straight up the HUD from The Legend of Zelda, but I still feel the art style itself, which, oh my God, Parasite, woo! All right, but man, uh, losing that run. Oh my God, dude, what is he doing? F off, dude. Oh my God, he jumps 15,000 days from Sunday. I hate this man. Oh my, are you flipping an egg on me, man? Where's my omelet? Where's my omelet? Heart is broken, egg is too. Ugh, okay. We have defeated the enemy. And you know what? If we get, if we're given an HP upgrade, I reckon I'd, we just take it. A speed upgrade? Reroll! You're kidding me. Why you gotta give me such garbage, bro? Whatever. Two of diamonds. I sleep. I always hated that this boss has toes. Uh, I love toes, dude. Why would you hate the toes? The toes are so epic. Gross. Mom's bottle of pills. Tears up. Luck down. Close enough. But yeah, that was my morning. I mean, aside from, oh, are you kidding me, dude? My little unicorn. If we find an arcade, that'd be nice. We do have an arcade, so we could use the unicorn horn on our blood bank if necessary. Hmm. Lots of thinking. Lots of stinking going on around about here. Lots of stinking going on in the woods behind my house because of all the decomposing bodies of my victims. Aegon, I played my first game of mini 40k. It was a lot of fun. Yo, heck yeah, dude. Very nice. Sure, that was a barrel of fun. Just like a barrel of monkeys is a barrel of fun. What does that have to do with what is being talked about? Well, uh, basically, I mean my peanuts. Ah, demon, demon. Okay, we're, we're living in a world. I killed an orc in one shot. Yo, let's go, dude. You love to hear when the dice are going well for you. And the stats, of course. Oh, and you were playing orcs? Or, no, 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 you killed an orc. Orc, so you're not... Or you could be playing as the orcs. You know, orc on orc violence is certainly something that is, is known to happen on occasion. All right. Yo, three of them. The boys are back in town. What are they back in town to do? They're back in town to drink Mountain Dew. Okay, we totally are going to take the tears upgrade. Let's go check out what our devil, devular deals got for us. I'm 100% going to be taking the uh, the lump, lump or coal here from our fella cram pussy. Mm -mm -mm. I will not elaborate. Uh, Alexa, look up Krampus rule 34. They're back in town for the circus. True. Circus in town. Shout out to the Spider-Man video game where the goons would ask you that because you're like a silly guy wearing a silly costume. What a world where spandex wearing vigilantes are out there. You guys know about the real vigilante like culture? I, I remember watching a video essay on this back in the day um, about the uh, one particular guy in the real life vigilante community, which what the, the, the gist of it is they try to go around being good Samaritans and, and enforcing the law when police officers aren't around to do it. You're kidding me, dude. I swear on me, mum. I had the wherewithal to dodge that. With you here, the circus is always here. You know what? Shiki Senri, I'm going to put you in a comma. That's right. You have now been encased in a comma. Saginini, welcome in. Long time no see indeed. I hope you've been doing all right, Holmes. You're kidding me. What is going on here? Yarr. Oh, I do like the tears up plus the parachute. Parachute? Yeah, it's like a parachute, but made out of poop. Welcome in, Jim Boomathy. As a Jim Boomer, you may potentially be entitled to some financial compensation, depending on whether or not you uh, have been diagnosed with mesothelioma and the circumstances that led to such a diagnosis. You know what? Diamond me, bomb me, battery me. I'm buying it all. I'm a big spender. They call me Spendoni because I'm bending over. What does that have to do with spending? <laughs> You know, it's the world's oldest profession, fellas. 
Anyway, it's not there. You're kidding me. The only thing I'm entitled to is penis delioma. Dude, that's what happens when your cock ingests asbestos. Like, what? listen, you know baby powder? Instead of baby powder, you put, you put asbestos powder on your balls to keep them dry and flame retardant as well. Asbestos penis. Yes, dude. It's, it used to be, you know, the way that we were. People thought, you know, it's perfectly fine. Just like there were those asbestos digging competitions. They were like, oh, heck yeah, dude. I cannot wait to get some asbestos in my pepper. It's gonna make things nice and spiffy in the bedroom. Yeehaw! Or something. I don't know what people said back in the olden times. Probably like groovy or some shit. Ooh. I do love the map. And I do love... No. Uh, uh, special guest star today, fellas. We got little man here. Despite literally there being no reason that he would want to sit on my lap right now, he is deciding that's the place he wants to be. Is my refrigerator running? That's, uh, you know, the age-old question. Philosophers still have yet to find a definitive answer to that. Not for a lack of trying, mind you. Many government research grants have been placed and performed and gained in order to try and find the answer to such a question. But alas, it still eludes them. And by eludes them, I mean it draws Rule 34 pictures of them. Bobby Bomb makes your bombs homing. Um, isn't baby powder asbestos? That's a good question. Have you or your loved one used an Ona hole with asbestos in it? God's greatest question. They have yet to find an answer to that in the Bible, despite the Pope bringing it up thousands of times. I'm going to take Soda Bobinski, even though I know it is not wise maneuver. And it is because... I can do a couple things with a couple bombs. Like this, we're gonna get Sad Onion. I have been played for an absolute fool. Help, oh, little man, you cannot be standing up right now, bro. We went over this yesterday while I was playing Sekiro. If you want to sit in my lap, you have to lay down. You cannot be standing up and trying to balance while I'm trying to play a freaking video game. Help me. Can one of you guys come hold little man for me, please? Oh my God, now he wants my left hand. Goodbye, WASD. I am not moving for the rest of the stream. That's right, uh, the Binding of Isaac without moving. Is it possible? We'll find out. Also, now he's got me. He said, I actually want you to talk directly into my ear holes, which, uh, I'm sorry, Holmes, but I'm actually kind of like projecting a little bit, so I kind of feel like that may or may not be doing harm to your, uh, you know, your, your eardrums. Um, oh, he's actually, he's watching me play Isaac right now. He's sitting up, looking at the screen. He, he, you might be able to hear him breathing into, into the mic. Oh my God. I can't take any more damage or else I'm going to lose my deal with the devil precedent. Oh, man. Please. Please do not. No! I blame little man for that one. Uh, even though it is entirely related to the issue of skill, I still feel as though I am immune to propaganda. The viewer to streamer pipeline is real. True. True. Why do you say that, though? I'm confused. Oh, it's because little man is streaming now. Oh, true, dude. Yo, I have thought. I uh, you did you not get the soul heart? I didn't. I did not milk shots move. I thought surely I'll be able to defeat the boss here without taking damage. And normally I would have been right against Gertie here, but alas, I was a fool. I was petrified. Hurry up. It was worth it just to learn some sleight of hand. World is a fuck, and right now I am the recipient of said. Fuck. I think we also just lost our deal with the devil precedent, but what the hell? What is this? Do you guys see this? Is this a super secret room? Ooh. Okay, so the super secret room can spawn next to the secret room in Flash Isaac. That's actually something I did not know. Also, hello, money. Whoa, we got flat penny. Me when I uh, put my penis into the hydraulic press. Me when Penny from Stardew Valley has been flattened as a result of a comically sized steamroller or, sorry, a road roller. Ooh, the mulligan though. I will take the mulligan. Weird question, what is your favorite flavor of Cheez-Its? Yeah, we'll pay you. Uh, I prefer the regular Cheez-Its. Um, oh, I think maybe we take the book of regulations. That was a fast payout? Yeah, I don't know. The the beggars pay out super duper fast here. You're kidding me. Um, it's been one week since you looked at me. Cocked your head to the side and said you're angry. 
Two weeks since you laughed at me. Saw eternal greed in the shop. All right. There we go. Yippee Kaye. Woohoo! I love eternal greed in the shop. I love the shop. I love going shopping. Yes, I am consumerist in my nature. It is how I live. By buying things. Did you know that currencies can be used to buy goods and services? Incredible the way that it is. Can we please have a central baking system? William Hamilton. A Lowland Doug Trio. They're so handsome, dude. I love the boy band. Me when the boys are back in town and they are killing me? They are diglets. You cannot run away from them because they have the, uh, what's the ability called? Arena trap or something? Um, I, I think that's what it was that makes it so you can't run away against wild diglets. Shout out to, uh, I did a lot of grinding back in the diglet cave back in the day. I don't know why. Something in my head was like, this is the best place to grind. Even though you can occasionally get diglets that have like magnitude and then the magnitude 10, they pop instantly kills everything that I own. And then I cry because I'm a literal child who has uh, an emotional attachment to a video game. I am not well socialized. This is so cool. Can we please not bring our children to uh, develop good social habits? All right. This is conquest, because he's got his eyeballs closed. Yeah, it can't be war. Wait, no, 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 this has to be war, because we're not, conquest only shows up, no, it's conquest, I lied. New conquest just dropped. Why are you here? And why are you running? That's so cool. Look at him, dude, he's in the, he's in the wall. All right, this sucks. I am a little butterfly. Okay. Beams of light. Marry an issue. Marry an issue. I had strange dreams actually last night. I had a dream where, like, I was, I was, I had an anime that I'd stopped. Thank goodness we have spectral tears, dude. If I didn't, what? The angle room? Anyway, I guess let's go into a... Uh... Well, if we're able to come back with the D6, we will definitely do that. And unfortunately, we're not, so I guess that's that. I should have put it right here, and that way I could have potentially gained access to free treasure pooper scooper room. All right, and there was nothing in there, and it's a terrible, terrible room. I've met with a terrible fate, haven't I, or something. Blue flies, please! I beg you! Do something! Get off your fat asses! I'm sorry, little man. I was just... I had a little bit of a heated gamer moment. You know, I occasionally have those. Um, so I, I hope you are willing to understand 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 the concept of love let's go fight mom i guess don't really have too much to our build right now sadly but it is what it is we got we well we have the mulligan you know we got mulligan we have lump of coal we have a tears upgrade so we have some things there are a couple things that we have right now that are helpful it's just that we, we don't really have a, a major money maker we could just get a simple damage up or something, I think I would feel a lot better. Dude, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Okay. There we go. And for our efforts, HP upgrades. You get an HP upgrade. You get an HP upgrade. Oh my God. Curse of the fucking labyrinth. Thank God that we have um, the map. Oh, Eternal Double Loki. Do not despawn in more angel fetuses, please. I said not to do that. All right, 
First double Loki defeated. Oh, little man has is getting up. We got another stage hazard, folks. And it is the little man. He is... Oh, he just had to do another circle, make sure his his posture was correct. This is going to be a bit of a tough one, I think. Especially since we're going to have uh, double eternal eyeballs from the beginning there. All right. Well, we have one blue heart. All right, we killed one. Let the other one live. Monstro. Okay, one monstro is fine. One monstro is not an issue. Okay, two monstros. Now I'm no longer as fine with this. I have I take issue with the fact that there are multiple monstros on the screen. I ask you vacate the premises immediately. This is your trespass notice. Should you fail to vacate the premises within the next 30 minutes, you shall be placed under arrest. Under whose authority? Under my authority and under Cartman's authority from South Park. That's right, me and Cartman, we go way back, dude. Yeah, I'm Canadian, how can you tell? Get out of here, man. We somehow got the devil deal. All right. I hate you. I hate you, dude. I hate you. We, there was nothing we could... <sighs> the devil deal didn't even matter. Should I look for the eternal trap room? Oh, hell, we got a... I mean, that's cool and all, but we, we, we cannot use it, unfortunately. Let's, I guess, go down to the next floor, huh? Because if we have a boss trap room there, I imagine that means we cannot get an eternal trap room. I don't have any confirmation on that. Just how I'm feeling, and I'm feeling like a barnacle head. Me when I'm getting head from a barnacle. Oh, Scoob! Actually, you know what, with the sun, we may actually have this. We may be able to get the W here. It's just purely through the ability to tank. Can we deal enough damage while saving enough HP? There we go. Flash Isaac, yaha, yaha ha. Me when I have been found. The FBI has found my location. I am wanted for 72 crimes of grievous manslaughter. Uh, why wouldn't it be murder? Well, you don't get to where I am without uh, breaking a few omelets. Yep, Flash indeed, indeed, indeed. Here I am flashing everybody my bald head. That's right. Uh, Aegon, flashing actually means something else. No way. It totally means you take your hat off and show people your sick hairdo, right? Which, of course, bald being the strongest of all the hairdos. Obviously. Uh, looked like I'm going to lose my dumpers I doubted with. Let's go, baby! I mean, I wouldn't be so fast. The first phase is the easiest part. When he starts spawning angel fetuses in, uh, in his third phase, that's when things become problematic. And also the bullshit homing. All right. But we have the range, I think. Almost. We kind of maybe have the range. And the fire rate. We don't have any homing or anything. Well, technically we do have homing in the form of the mulligan's flies. So maybe I was overstating the value of Eternal Isaac. Or, I mean, the difficulty of Eternal Isaac, but... When, this is where things get tough. The baby fetuses, they are they are real real problematic for me. Get out the way, son. Ah, ah, ah. Stop. Stop it. Do not. Do not. Alright, there we go. Give me those. Hey, and now we have the eternal mode, bruh. All right, uh, yep, flash indeed. It's probably a texture pack. It is not a texture pack. It is not a texture pack, call me Ab. This is the OG Flash Isaac. You can buy it on Steam right now. Anyway, pay out the believers. Yippee, wahoo, bing bing, yahoo, -ah! And there we have it, the Polaroid unlocked. That means now 
we can go and fight Blue Baby. 